I created the world's first Nashville hot fried brisket. Nashville hot brisket? That sounds really good. Do the Nashville hot fried steak. Will this turn out as Nashville hot fried steak? And he says this is the greatest steak he ever had. As these are the star of today's show. As you can see, there are three beautiful ribeye steaks. One and a half inches. Those are really nice ribeyes. And most importantly, they are just beautiful steak. For that, I like to season it liberally. And if you've been watching my videos for a while, you know I like to use coarse salt. As you can see, once I was yeah, there, coarse salt perfectly seasoned. And you want to you're more likely to under season it than over season it. To be specific, a Nashville rub. And here's how to make it. Into a bowl, I threw in some cayenne pepper, followed by granulated Oof, a lot of cayenne pepper, a little bit of brown sugar, and some smoked paprika. Mix everything well because the rub is now done. And just like the salt, the most important thing is to ensure that every single edge is perfectly covered. Once that's I'm right, done, I that's right. You gotta get it all around. This guy now, is such a good meat steaks. chef. So for that, I wanna see the best way to put a nice spicy flavor on a steak. One of them will be the control with just the rub and nothing else the second one he does such a good job of testing stuff and doing a control and other things that he's testing i gotta start doing more of this stuff because i'm learning really well from this guy we're gonna be making it compound butter oh yes it is not a that is a beautiful butter. compound it's butter that looks so incredible. delicious it, it is super easy and imagine spreading that on some bread processor i threw in one stick of butter followed by one tablespoon of kochujang which is korean chili paste a little bit of garlic mm. paste finished it wow a good amount of smoked flaky salt then i blend this sounds absolutely butter, unbelievable plastic made it really nice and tight let it sit in the refrigerator for about one this recipe is is not for you if you got elevated cholesterol. Spicy compound butter. My cholesterol's rising watching this video. But can it be better than a Nashville hot fried steak? And well, higher. <laughs> because here's how to make it. The first thing to do is to make the spicy oil. This is going to be applied to the steak once it's fried. Talking about that, the next thing to do is to... So they're going to put that on after. That's going to be interesting. Purpose flour, followed by that rub we just made in the beginning. And of course, don't forget a pinch of salt. Mix everything... I've never done that with a steak and coated a steak like a piece of chicken and dredged it. And egg wash First, and flour goes into the flour followed by the egg wash then back into the flour especially with a nicer steak like that like it's a ribeye he said it was a choice cut so it's not the greatest ribeye but it's just oh my have an incredible meal and today this one is quite tasty and very easy to make loaded tater tots jeez fried up some bacon as always start with a cold pan and of course in the end we are left with bacon bits mm, that's perfectly cooked bacon he did such a nice job wow taters i'm just using the frozen one some things are not which are the best from scratch and at least that's right i agree not everything you got to make from scratch frozen tater tots they got those down to a science don't you worry about that and concentrate on a cheese sauce so first i threw in a good amount of butter into a pan followed by some flour see i'm making something that it's this is like a twelve thousand calorie recipe i guess it's maybe a little different from some of the stuff that i make because i make stuff that's just a little healthier just because that's how i like to eat but i like how he's doing it that he's making this food for him he wants to eat this steak so he's making it so it comes from a really sauce. good place and he's just showing you what he did threw in some sour cream followed by garlic paste a little bit a lot of, of components parsley. we can't forget about the nashville rub we just made in the beginning i mean you better have some pretty fancy guests that coming that over really is, important it, guests if you're going to do all this that nashville hot fry rub on it talking about that by this time my tater mm. tots were fully baked as you can see it's love tater tots it in the oven in it smell directions them. as now to finish them up i went ahead and added that cheese sauce we just made followed by wow cream sauce don't forget about the bacon bits a little bit more sauce i hope you're not on a diet chives. now this is today's side dish as you saw it there it is super easy to make but most important wow there's no way that this is not gonna be good it's just gonna be perfect yes there's good. impossible that's First gotta be that, absolutely fantastic go ahead and cook them one will be fried the other one don't forget about that beautiful compound butter oh and that looks so good control wow say it is enough talking and it is time to grill them so let's i don't know if i like the idea of the one fried and coated because the outside of that steak looked absolutely unbelievable and he's cooking it on open fire which is going to give it that that open fire flavor there's nothing like when that flame hits it wow that looks absolutely mouth-watering i don't know if i dig the the fried steak oh that compound butter on that that looks so good this is steak porn. Ugh. I just, it maybe it might taste good, but I like the idea of just that one with the compound butter. That looks so good. Oh man, nailed the temperature on that one. Ah, 
I, maybe just because I'm not into fried food. Beautiful steaks. A little bit of rain. He does the best taste test. I always like how he invites other people on there and he doesn't just do it with them himself. Taste tests like this are a little subjective because I know all of these are going to taste great and then people are just choosing which one they like the best. So it's uh, this is a little subjective. I like the whole premise of the video. Those tater tots still look out of control. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Cheers. And that's the plain steak. Oh yeah, that's nice. But with the Nashville seasoning. Sometimes I crave different flavors, everybody. This is one of them. <clears throat> this is nice. You got good, good? Yeah. Ooh, spicy. It's got a little tingle to it. De definitely got a kick on <laughs> tingle it. Tingle my ass. That thing's spicy, everybody. <laughs> it's, not, it's not that spicy. Guys, it's got a good little tingle to it. <laughs> Wow, this boy is uh, always going to oh, he's fighting it. me on my spiciness. By the way, steak is absolutely delicious. So this one, instead of using salt, pepper, and garlic powder, I use a little Nashville hot rub. Especially the ribeyes are a little fattier. The little, when stuff is fatty, it, it is, can yeah, cool it down the, the spiciness of stuff. You know, this is actually really nice. Like you are yeah. saying, it does have a little bit of a kick. Oh, he puts the garlic powder on steak, guy. That's just steak. weird. Well, this is really good. You have to be I'm very big on just salt and pepper on steak, even though I've done some steaks that are coated with uh, like a Cajun rub, said, I have that Cajun rub ribeye. Now the second one has my most favorite ingredient. I think this is probably going to be this the best one. Even better than the first one. I know, smell that it. That compound butter looks oh. out of control. I don't salivate very often. I am now. Enough talking. Let's go for it. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, guys. Oh wow. Wow. This is one of the better steaks that we've had in a, that I've had in a long time. It's so insane how good oh, wow. this steak is. It's cheese and meat is a great combo. It's never going to be bad. Any type of like obvious cheese on it. Whatever happened to this steak, the flavors penetrated really deep. And that must be a flavor bomb. Flavor. This one is going to give the last one the biggest run for its money. 100%. Here's the deal, everybody. I don't say this very often. I think the last one has been sitting around a little too long, too. They probably started should have started off eating that one first steak as it's because if it is fries it's crispy incredible it's probably softened up a lot yeah, they lost a lot of that texture that would really make it nice i'm actually surprised that Guga is enjoying it because this is kind of like a little bit spicier than but it's just a wonderful flavor of gojugan which i like it's like a korean chili paste oh got it I, you know, talking one of the best chili the pastes if you don't ever tried gojujan powder no, or gojujan paste no, it's no, really really no, great no, great way to add spice to stuff moving leo your steak's down no! I would be pissed that I didn't have those tater tots either. They look really, really good. Loaded mashed potatoes. Loaded taters. <laughs> That's the name. <laughs> Let's give this a go. You guys ready? Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Mm. Oh, come on. That can't be bad. How's that not going to be good? <laughs> wow. The size is really totally. Good. This is absolutely delicious. I've you got to get them crispy. Since elementary school. Especially if you're going to put the cheese sauce on top of them. They got to have some, talking. Let's go for the some solidness to hold up to that cheese Thank sauce. You. I must say. I think they waited a little too long to have that. Spicy. You guys ready for it? Yep. Let's give it a go. Enough talking. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Oh, man. Woo! That's a Probably tastes really good. That is good. Little hit of sweetness. Yep. A little bit of savoriness. Yep. A lot of Wagyu fat put in there, by the way. It is really good. <laughs> the crust on this, it just changed. I'm going to have to try that one day to on the crust fry a steak. Come through beautifully. You feel that little kick on your mouth? I definitely do. It's still not like super spicy, yeah. but it's nice. But I must say, I like the one in the middle more. Oh, That's my too. winner right there. <laughs> the one I, the I'm one not winner. tasting the food, but I look at the one in the middle. I would say that's got to be the best one. That the one in the middle, the Kojigun paste, is the winner. For me, it's because of how unique the flavor is. Normally, yeah. you don't get a lot of That compound butter was out of control. You, you could put that on anything. It would taste fantastic. Get I think that was a, a really fun video. I love cooking proteins, especially steaks. And I think Guga does an absolutely fantastic job of making these steak videos. And he's made so many, and they're really, really good. That middle steak with that compound butter is out of control. Uh, maybe I got to steal that from him and try that in a future recipe video. Uh, if you like this reaction video, let me know in the comment section. Or if you didn't like it, also let me know. And if there's some videos that you'd like me to comment on and only cooking videos, send those uh, into the comment section. I'll take a look and you can see that on a future uh, reaction video. Thanks.